I named my first project uh, the Sylvia Demo. Uh, it's named after my, my, my first car. Um, and I named it that because, it, it I don't know, I felt like it was a, a pretty good uh, generalization of where I was going to go with what I was about to talk about with the project. It was going it was because the project really deals with a lot of stuff I, I had done between like being how I felt between being 18 and now and then a lot of stuff I had gone through like being younger and stuff and it was my mom's car for it was my car so I got a lot of memories in it regardless you know what I'm saying so I just want to name the, the project after something significant I wanted to I wanted to call my project a demo instead of an EP or or album or mixtape or anything because I felt like it was more deserving to be called a demo like this is this is uh, my opportunity to shop with you like this is my opportunity to convince you that you know what I'm saying to, to mess with me process uh, that I record, uh, it, it, it kind of differs between now and before, like before I, I didn't have a, I didn't have really have a studio or anything like that, uh, but now since I had a studio I was so used to not having one, I wrote more than anything else, so that kind of like shaped my process of creating, I write more music than I record it. It was certain tracks in my project that I, I knew I wanted to be together, like I knew I wanted Hereditary, and originally I wanted Hereditary to be, to, to be followed by Modest. But then I thought it'd be too starting a project off too too much bang at first, and then it'd chill out too much. So I wanted it to be chill and it kind of flip up at certain times, certain points, and everything. But with come with putting the project together, the tracks that I didn't want on the track on the project, Top put on there, and because um, I was kind of embarrassed of them more so. And so it was like it was like Heavenly Father and like Sylvia the Sylvia demo. That was like the oldest track, and then. Um, uh, was well, shut you down, shut you down. I thought it was kind of old. I thought people were gonna think it was kind of stale. And Heavenly Father, I was doing like this, you know what I'm saying, rap singy thing, and I wasn't sure if people was gonna, gonna mess with that. And uh, what was the other one? Yeah, I said three, I said two. Oh, and Sylvia demo, Sylvia demo is because it was so old. I wasn't sure how people was gonna like like react to it, but it's been like people's favorite songs. So I, I guess I gotta trust my my, my boss sometimes. I don't think I, I'm the guy in my city, like Usher's. I, even though hip hop, you know, we talking about hip hop, but still we got Usher and Samuel Jackson. Like I ain't done nothing compared to him. You know what I'm saying? So I'm I'm just trying to get my feet wet. It's cool, it's cool. It's on some rap stuff, on some young people stuff, it's, it's cool, but I don't really like it because I can't really do nothing when I go home. Uh, but other than that, it feels good to inspire people. It, it does feel it, feel, it feels very good to be like an inspiration for people. You know, BET though is probably one of the tightest things ever. Like for my family to see that, and my hometown to see that, it was like, yeah, that don't happen. And I wasn't one of the, uh, I wasn't one of the, um, what is it, the, uh, the, uh, the 106 picks. I was like, man, that was one of my things as, as like as a rapper when I thought about it. I was like, man, that'd probably be one of like the top ten coolest worst things that could happen to me probably on some like getting picked out of a contest to, to, to rap and everything because then they everybody looks at you like you're the contest guy and I couldn't do that so it's kind of tight for my music though you can uh, find it on um, topdogmusic.com or um, uh, soundcloud.com backslash Isaiah underscore Rashad or just Google or Twitter or I don't know Neighborhood bootlegger. I don't know. I caught one. I found my, my mom found, found one. A bootlegger in my CD is so tight. Top five. Real shit. If I had 24 hours to live, I'd probably go on a mass murdering spree. Probably. I'd probably go out like on some badass shit. <laughs> But you feel me though? You feel me though? You feel me? There's nothing else to do. Like it's like like if I'ma die tomorrow, I might as well see what all the hubbub's about. To be clear, I turn around when anyone says anything other than I'm gonna go get laid. Yeah. I'm gonna go pray. You know. Probably yeah. I probably go merc some niggas just to see what that's like. Like for real. Like I don't know. Go to. Random on some GTA type stuff. Twenty. If I have 24 guaranteed hours to live, and that's it, like on a, a 2401, I'm dead. Like on the spot, mass murder spree. Nothing else. It's like you gotta go out like a boss or that type of stuff. Like you go, you go have a sentimental ass day. And then, oh, I'm gonna go out like 
on some adrenaline rush type of stuff. I'm going to jack cars that day. I'm probably going to push an old lady down. <laughs> I, my whole life, I want to smack a little baby in Walmart. I'll probably do all that shit, bro, like on some other stuff. Like, real shit. Like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I probably wear leather pants. I'm, I'd say I never wear those. I probably wear leather pants that day. Fucking, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, and I'll probably buy a pair of Jordans. I've never done that. Probably the last thing. Probably the thing I do. When 20, we got 24 hours to live. And find Tatiana Ali and Skin Diamond and profess my love for them. If I weren't a rapper, if I wasn't a rapper right now, I'd probably be working at the source. Probably. I, if I wasn't a rapper right now, I'd probably be like the youngest 22 year old with a magazine rival, rivaling the source. Because I'm a go getter. Hell yeah. And y'all work for me. Because we young niggas. Now I'm just playing. I'm just playing. He look, he looking like he ain't turn around for that one. He ain't turn around for that one. He was like, yeah. Nobody want to hear that shit. Nobody gives a fool. Nobody cares about that. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. We ain't rival the source. 25 years. That's tight. That's heavy. 22. Is that Zero Shot? You're watching Source TV on Source.com.